Hey, 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 it's Chris. Welcome to my dollhouse. And what is possible for you today? I have three sets of cards to choose from. And I'll give you a few moments to decide what is possible for you. Hmm, have a think about where you might be headed. I'll give you a few moments. Number one, if you chose number one, let's have a look. First of all, a question for you, just to think about. Why am I doing the things I'm doing right now? It's time to go out on a limb. You've been doing the same thing over and over again, repeating itself, expecting a different response, different reply, a different outcome. You can't do that anymore. It's time to take a chance on something and go out on the limb and work out what is really, really possible. Really, really possible. And divine guidance. The ideas you are receiving are heaven-sent answers to your prayers. So what is possible? Mm. What will stepping outside your comfort zone achieve for you? The idea is there. Are you ready to put it into action? Because you can't keep going over and over the, the same, same thing again and again and again. You have to do something different if you expect a different outcome. So go out on the limb and try something brand new this week. So thank you. Number one. Number two, if you chose number two, let's have a look and see what might be happening for you. What is your question? What is what is possible for you today and for the next few days? How would I want to be encouraged right now? What would I want to hear? That you're nurturing something brilliant, that you are the right path, that whatever it is that you are trying to achieve is the right thing that you are correct in wanting this and that it has potential you are doing everything in your power to make this happen and you are on the right path number two keep nurturing your idea it's about to bloom it's about to show you that everything that you've been working for is worthwhile and listen only to love don't allow fear to distract you from your divine mission. I hope that was helpful for you and it was exactly what you needed to hear. So thank you, number two. Number three, if you chose Number three, let's have a look at your question first of all, because I think there's something very interesting about to come through here. Mm. What is the most courageous thing I've done? How did I feel then? I think perhaps you're going to be tested this week. Your courage, your determination, your true grit is going to be tested to the limit this week. And your higher self is asking you how did you feel when you did the most bravest thing that you've ever done and you succeeded because I think you need that boost right now you need to know that you can get through this that this will not last forever and you have the skills and the ability to see anything through to the final conclusion this week because you have everything in your in your power and everything in your control to see you through to something that is going to test you because you can't quite see what is at the end of the tunnel but you know you need to step into it you need to take a chance you need to step inside outside your comfort zone this week but you can do this because that tunnel has an ending there is a light at the end of it but you need to go through a little bit of difficulty before you reach the final conclusion but you can do this and you will do this so stay true true to yourself 
Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, trust and follow your inner voice. So this week is a matter of trusting yourself and knowing that you can get through this. What's that saying? What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. It might be one of those weeks, but you can get through this if you trust yourself and stay tuned to what you truly believe and trust that you can get through this number three. So thank you. So thank you everyone for joining me today in the dollhouse. I hope that was helpful for you and until next time, so many blessings.